Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how to prepare and install the motor box. Take it out of the back carefully, there are a lot of small parts here so you don't lose any. As you can see it is uh, really well prepared, all the holes are drilled in the right places and it is enforced quite well, but it still needs a bit of work. For example, you need to reinforce those edges there uh, with fiberglass cloth and on the outside we will install some thin carbon pieces. Now I'm measuring the distance between these installed motor box nuts to cut uh, the glass pieces. So let's go ahead and cut them off and then cut them to size here. And we will install these on the inside like I showed before right in there and on the outside these carbon pieces and beware um, the top one is not symmetrical why because the engine has a side thrust and that's built in so again I'm absolutely amazed at the quality before installing them in epoxy we'll have to roughen them up here and I use a disc sander and I use a little plastic piece so I don't uh, hurt my fingers here On the bottom we'll apply another piece of glass cloth, so let's cut that off. And what I always do is, when I make those installations, I test fit those clamps before I mix the epoxy, just so I can see if it fits well. I'm using 24 hour epoxy, uh, ratio is 40 to 100, and that gives me ample time to install and will make it quite strong. And I'm using fine scales to get an exact mix. After mixing it well, we can start with the epoxy and uh, be careful not to put any epoxy into the nuts there or you will have problems uh, with the bolts later. And then just position the glass pieces that we cut earlier. And then we soak these pieces again with epoxy. Again, be very careful not to ha have any epoxy run into the nuts there. Should the pieces have been pushed out of place, uh, you can just push them back with some wooden stick or something. We're working with 24 hour epoxy, so we have a lot of time for this. Now I'm actually gonna put on some gloves and you should probably always work with gloves when working with epoxy. Uh, it's just a bit toxic, isn't it? Now let's install the carbon fiber pieces. We have sanded them beforehand, so now we can just install them right there. And remember that we sanded them from both sides. The reason is that now we're going to apply epoxy on the outside as well to strengthen the whole setup. I've covered these clamps with some plastic tape to protect them from the epoxy and now you can position the clamps. Should you have pushed the carbon pieces out of place in that process, don't worry, if you have good gloves you can now reposition them again and have them exactly where you want them. Now let's put the piece of glass fiber on the bottom. We have put some epoxy on it before, uh, use some wood or some tool to position it and then soak it again with some epoxy. The box is certainly of good quality, still you want to make sure that all the joints are glued well. And I do that by applying a thin layer of epoxy all over the box. When you do that, uh, be careful not to put any epoxy on these parts where it joins uh, the fuselage later. One, you want them to still be soaking up epoxy later, and two, they'll get too big and then they won't fit into the fuselage. We just have to be patient and wait for the epoxy to completely cure. And I do this by hanging it up just like so. So before I do the Höhenruder, um, I find the sequence of tasks worth thinking about. So before I install the elevator and the rudder, which will make the fuselage bulkier and less easy to handle, 
I think about what other tasks can I do. So I believe that what we can do now is we can install the motor box here. And the interesting thing is these pieces here, they seem to be a little bit too long. It's quite unusual for precision aerobatics, but it's also in the manual. You have to shorten these pieces. So what you have to do is you have to cut them off a little bit to the level of the bulkhead. There, that's the level of the bulkhead right there. And you want to shorten them so the box will sit flush on the bulkhead. Auf dem Brandspann hier vorne zu liegen. I do this carefully with a Dremel tool like so. Be careful not to saw all the way through. That would be good. Okay, let's try fit it and be very, very careful. Don't push too hard. If it doesn't fit, you might have to enlarge uh, the slots a little with, with a file or something like so. Okay, that fits nicely. And now we will push a small carbon fiber rod through those holes and all the way through to the other side. And on the inside, these small carbon rods, one on each side through the prepared holes, one here and one on the other side, like so. This rod is a tad bit too long and I'll sand this off carefully after epoxying later. Before applying epoxy, we want to use a little CA to hold the box in place to secure a tight fit and not change the angles of side and down thrust. For the epoxy, I will use Tixotropic Agent. And why do I do this? Tixotropic Agent. Tixotropic Agent makes the epoxy less runny. And when I apply epoxy now all around, it doesn't matter which way I hold it, there will always be a side where the epoxy will run down in drops. So in order to prevent that, the Tixotropic agent makes the epoxy almost gel-like. The interesting thing is it starts off uh, rather runny and then after a couple of seconds it turns to some kind of gel that won't run anymore. So now we can apply epoxy all around and glue the box in in one go. So first I mix uh, the epoxy like normal and then I apply the Tixotropic agent. Let's see just a little bit and we'll have to test out how much we need so we get the runniness that we want. After mixing well, test it out and you can see it still runs a little but not quite that much anymore. It should still run a little bit. Obviously you want it to run into the creases and everything and form a great bond. And here you can see I applied ample amounts all around everywhere. I imagine the thrust 60 on 6 cell will develop some brutal power, so you want to be thorough here. After the epoxy had cured, I installed these braces, and with that, the motor box installation is complete. The other PA, the other PA airplanes with the motor inside. They had these plastic scoops, air scoops here. Here the engine is in the front, so there is a different solution with those balsa scoops. And they are installed quickly with some CA. Just put them together and then let some thin CA run into it and then attach them. Call me crazy, but somehow I don't like these crude balsa sheets peeking out of an otherwise beautiful cowling in a high-tech airplane. That looks kind of, I don't know. So let's take some black paint and just spray paint it quickly. Okay, and that looks good. The next task is to mount the cowling. And there are some tricks how to do this very precisely. And I'll show you those in one of the next videos. By the way, I do the English versions of these videos in random order. So why don't you subscribe to my channel and then you see them as they come. See you later. Thanks. Bye.